and welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. Where today I'm going to explain the backstory behind a, some news that came out this week about a new company formed by Hideaki Anno. Now, if you haven't heard of Hideaki Anno before, he directed a little show called Neon Genesis Evangelion, and he's directing the new uh, reboot movies of that. He directed other very impressive things back in the day. Naughty the Secret of Blue Water, Wings of Horiyamise, His and Her Circumstances, other cool stuff. But Evangelion is the thing that he's known for, for better or for worse. And so he, he announced this week that with two other guys, he is filming a new company called Project Studio Q. And the plan for this is to train new young animators in the Kyushu region of Japan. The plan is to sort of gather talent from animators who are outside of Tokyo, outside of the traditional uh, anime industry, and teach them kind of where they are instead of everyone having to go to Tokyo for everything. Now, why is this important? Uh, a couple of reasons. One is that the anime industry has been facing a lot of turnover recently, a lot of problems for the fact that it's a historically very low-paying industry. There's not a lot of money in anime. Unfortunately, there's just, you know, the way of it is that anime sells in the thousands to tens of thousands of copies in Japan, always has, and it just, it has this limited audience, unless you're Naruto or Bleach, right? So, for most, most of the animators, most of the anime studio, they just, they don't get in money to pay animators a living wage, for most of them. So for your first couple of years working as an animator, certainly your first year, you're making way less than a living wage. Most folks live at home doing that. And then as you work up, you're still making very, very little money. Uh, we're talking again, like sort of minimum wage level money um, as an animator. So this has led to a lot of turnover, a lot of folks getting into the industry and then leaving after a few years. And uh, also a lot of, of outside work, a lot of... Um, outsourcing to other countries to find people who will actually do this. Because there are lots of other countries in East Asia where labor is cheap. So this has been a kind of a problem, is figuring out how to train up the next generation of animators in anime who will who have the talent and the skill and will kind of keep at it. And Anno has been speaking about this in some length, not directly, but about this problem in Japan of originality. Uh, I don't mean originality in terms of concept, I mean originality in terms of making anime that is um, not based on a manga or a light novel or whatever. I should point out, Anno's done this in the past, he, he, made, he directed his inner circumstances, that was based on a manga, but he, his stance is that it was a lot easier to make an original anime say, 20, 30 years ago than it is now. It's much more rare to see an original work come out of the anime industry now than it was back in the day. It's hard to say exactly how accurate this is. There, there are actually numbers about the number of original anime works over time. Personally, I haven't seen a huge difference. There is, I would argue, a noticeable you know, decline in the number of original anime out there, but that's also due to other factors. Point being, whether you're talking today or 50 years ago, it's always been rare to see original anime in Japan, and that, that can be a problem when there's not new stuff to excite you, when all you're doing is copying what's in the manga. Not that anime is exactly coming from the manga, but you get the drift. When you're not inventing something new, you're just taking something and putting it on screen. That's not going to be as exciting. It's not going to get people interested in the industry. It's not going to push people forward to new heights the way they were back in the days of Ideon and Gundam and things like that when these were big visions being pushed forward by these studios and these directors and these creators. Um, you know, original things in anime. Now, granted, a lot of them were pulling things from other projects. Nothing is completely original, right? But it is important to have creativity in any artistic um, sphere. And so Anno is pushing for 
more opportunities for folks to, to do that, to, to create original works. One of the reasons, I don't know, maybe going back to, uh, to school on this, if you will, is because of Anno's specific history. When Anno, um, so Anno first came on to the scene when he was in college. He went to a particular university that had a, it was an arts college, that had a yearly film festival. And students in the, you know, the arts um, department were expected to make a film every year, and it could be, you know, 30 seconds. And so they did the film festival, and everyone would gather around and watch, you know, these films once a year. And Anno came in and blew everyone away. Uh, I think his first film was an Ultraman parody. And then he did this, this animation, and he made these gorgeous animations. And just everyone was shocked. And everyone was like, who is this guy? Why is he doing this? Um, and it was, it was his work on that that became kind of his resume for working on other projects and uh, for his work on eventually, you know, uh, not long after that work on um, Otaku no Video and then, like, not this one, the actual film. Uh, and then Mac Ross and Nausicaa and other stuff. Um, but like those films became known in the animation industry in Japan. So there's a really big... Um, my chat room's awesome. Um, uh, so, you know, he is known for doing original stuff in college, for, for making things in college, and then that, you know, pushing him to, to work in the industry on original projects. Maybe he's hoping that other people will follow that a similar path, where if there is a um, you know, a forum in a, a university like that where you can learn these things, that is pretty awesome, and you know that can then excite people about the possibilities, and maybe even you know um, move the anime industry in new directions, which you know. Change is scary, but it's usually good. Uh, not always, but usually. Um, now, to be clear, Hideaki Anno is not the only one involved in this. He's also working with the chairman of the ASO group, um, and they actually own the, the ASO Pop Culture College, uh, which is where these will be these you know classes will be, will be held, uh, as well as the president of Duango, um, and, uh, and and they'll be sending a, a lecturer as well. So. Um, Anno will not necessarily be lecturing, by the way. He's gonna, you know, somebody from his studio will, will go and lecture, and somebody from Duango will go and lecture, uh, but it's not necessarily, you know, Anno sitting there every week, which I think, let's be honest, would be kind of scary. So that's the backstory behind Hideaki Anno and his new project, Studio Q, and his hope to bring more animators into the industry. And as the chat, chat room is saying, you know, more original works is, is you know, pretty cool. Um, anyway, so I hope that's helpful, and please keep watching for more videos like this. See you next time.